but we're moving from the inside of your home to the outside of your home. This is Jerry Maston. He's a firefighter with the Quincy Fire Department. We're talking outdoor lighting now. and We've got a beautiful Christmas tree, but what are some things that you need to remember? Right, well, the, the rule of thumb with uh, these Christmas lights is if they're LEDs, you can strand together about seven strands before you start to have a problem. Uh, the older incandescent bulbs, uh, roughly three strands. So only three strands. Only three strands, right? They they uh, use a lot more power than the LED lights, so you uh, you can't use as many strands together. And remember, this is the the reason why a lot of times these outlets are over, I guess, overheated is because there's too much power going right. through each cord. And you also pointed out this, I guess, it extension cord area over here. What is the problem with this? Right, well, you they, probably have this going on at your house. <laughs> well, these Christmas lights are rated for outdoor use, but uh, you can see here that this outlet's pointed up. So any rain or snow is going to be able to get inside this outlet. So it's a good idea. Keep them pointed down. Wrap a plastic bag around them or some electrical tape or any, anything to keep that moisture out of the, uh, the outlets. Okay. Well, coming up on KHK this morning, we're going to talk more about some safety tips around the holidays to keep your family safe. I'm guilty of this. I've linked more than three strands of lights <laughs> at a given time, and I'm sure other people have too. If you uh, have any other tips for us or questions, just tweet us out at, at KHQA Melissa. What, what about LED lights, Melissa? Those seem to be a little more energy efficient. Mm -hmm. He said um, that seven, you can link seven strands of LED lights. That's, of course, because they don't get as hot. Sure. Okay, good. So, well, a paper bag, I know.